ut utility analysis utility analysis utility analysis i know most of you have studied the economics you the word rings a bell utility analysis utiles so in capital budgeting candidates utility analysis is a decision making technique that helps evaluate and compare different options or alternatives based on multiple criteria you understand it is a technique that we use to evaluate and compare different options or uh, decisions or alternatives using multiple criteria and it is particularly useful when the outcomes or benefits cannot be quantified all right like in economics you remember candidates uh, quantifying satisfaction of uh, a customer in terms of uh, the goods when a, a customer consumes a good it's not easy to quantify that satisfaction of goods or service so that's why we use units we are calling utiles in economics but here in uh, capital budgeting utility analysis we use it just similar in, in, in economics when weighing or quantifying variables which ordinarily is not easy to represent such uh, variables in monetary terms it is useful when the outcomes or benefits of an option are difficult to quantify in purely monetary terms so utility analysis assigns numerical scores or weights to each criterion reflecting their relative importance and then we evaluate how well each option satisfies those criteria think I'm clear on that hmm? am I utility analysis is a technique in capital budgeting that we use to quantify variables that cannot be measured in monetary terms you understand so what are the elements or components components or well, let me say steps steps how is it done how is it done the first step is to identify decision criteria identify decision criteria identify decision criteria that's the first step first thing to do is to determine the relevant factors or criteria that are important for making the decision then you assign values or weights assign assign weights you do what you assign weights to criteria 
identify first of all criteria, then assign the weights to the criteria that has been identified. Assigning criteria or numerical weights. Assigning numerical weights to each criteria, which reflects its relative importance compared to other criteria. Then number three is to develop a scale. We develop a scale, develop a scale, develop a scale, develop, let me say, a rating scale, develop a rating scale. You rate. After you assign the weight to the criteria that is identified in the first step, then you develop a rating scale. Here, candidates, a scale is created to measure how well each option performs on each criteria. And common scales include one to five. A scale could be one to ten. So that the one that is assigned 10, that is high importance. All right? So that is rating. We say that you assign weights, assign weights to the criteria. Assigning weights to criteria, I, I repeat candidates, it means uh, allocating numerical weights to each criteria, which reflect the relative importance. So the one that has been assigned one, that is has a high importance. The one that is assigned 10 has high importance. One, it's not as important as the one that is assigned five. So you develop a rating scale. Then after that, you rate each option. Rate each option. You understand? Each option is rated. Each option is rated. Evaluate each option on each criteria using the rating scale. Then you finally calculate the overall utility. Calculate the overall utility. You then calculate the overall utility. The overall utility is then calculated. And that is done by, multiply, by multiplying each options rating on each criteria by the corresponding criteria weight. And then you sum the products to obtain the overall utility score for each option. After that, you can then compare. Compare the alternatives. You do what? You compare. After comparing, then you select. After comparing, you select. Because you've done the rating, you rate each option, then you compare. Calculate the overall utility, then compare. That means comparing the overall utility scores of the options and then selecting the option with the highest score. Now, candidates, you don't need to memorize all this. I'm using this so that we can understand the idea. Then we will maybe reinforce this with an assignment. So utility, this is just a general uh, procedure on how to carry out utility analysis. So let's have an illustration. Let's look at an illustration. Now, the illustration reads as follows. A manufacturing company is considering three potential investment projects, project A, project B, project C. Project A, modernization of existing machinery. Project B, expansion into a new product line. Project C, investment in research and development for a breakthrough technology. 
The company's decision makers have identified the following criteria as important for the capital budgeting decisions. One is financial return measured in NPV. We have strategic alignment, risk, environmental impact. Then we have the weights and scores, the weights and scores. The, the decision makers assign the following weights to each criteria. NPV 0 0.4, strategic alignment 0 0.3, risk 0 0.2, environmental impact 0 0.1. They evaluate each project on each criteria and assign scores on a scale of 1, which is poor, to 5, which is excellent. So there is that assignment, assigning. So the criteria there is uh, NPV, strategic alignment, risk and environmental impact. So the weights for project A, B and C. So the weights are shown there. NPV for project A is assigned uh, is assigned let me correct this let me correct this the weights for project a weights for project a then we have uh, project b candidates can you see the criteria well the criteria is npv npv strategic alignment risk environmental impact those are the weights. Then we have project A. That is now the assigning. Assigning. The weights are assigned. Project A. NPV weight is 4. Project B. NPV weight is... Uh, I mean, A, project B. The NPV is assigned the score of 3. Project C, project C NPV is assigned the score of two. Strategic alignment, strategic alignment, candidate strategic alignment. We have project A is assigned three. Project B, five. Project C, four. Risk is three, four, two. Environmental impact, four, three, five. Four, three, five. So, Candidates, you can see this is straightforward. If you are to, to calculate, if you are to calculate the overall utility, calculating overall utility, candidates, we said in calculating the overall utility, what do you do? Calculating overall utility. We say that you multiply each options rating on each criteria by the corresponding criteria weight and then you sum the products to obtain the overall utility score for each option so for project a you can see we have 0 0.4 which is the weight times the npv score of project a which is 4 then we add the strategic alignment weight, we multiply by 3. So that is done like that until the calculation of the project A utility is 3.3. .3. Can you see that? The project utility 0 0.4 times 4 plus 0 0.3 times 3 plus 0 0.2 times 3 plus 0 0.1 times 4. That gives us 3.3 .3 as the project A utility. Then project B utility, we take the weight of 0 0.4, all right, project B, is it? So let's, let's have the calculations for project C, the project utility project B is 
the project utility project C is uh, 2.5 2.5 the weight I want you to see it is very simple for project C you can see project C you can see the 0 0.4 which is the weight times 2 the weight of NPV is 0 0.4 you multiply by the score of 2 then we move down to strategic alignment the weight is 0 0.3 you multiply by the weight of 4 then uh, the weight for risk is 0 0.2 we are on project C candidates project C the weight for risk is 0 0.2 we multiply it by the score for project C which is 2 then lastly we have environmental impact weight is 0 0.1 we multiply by the assigned value of 5 for project C giving us a total of 2.5 Candidates, do you understand the calculation? That is the calculation of the overall utility. Is there any question on that? It is easy to calculate than describe the way I've been describing on the board. When you see the figures, I think it's now ringing a bell. That's why I told you, you don't need to memorize the procedure, but you need to understand how the calculation is also done. So we've said step number one, you do what? Identify decision criteria. Step number two, assign weights, develop a rating scale, rate each option, calculate overall utility, then compare. So we've done up to step number five. We have calculated the overall utility. So you can see candidates, remember we say that uh, uh, utility analysis is a decision making technique that helps evaluate and compare different options based on multiple criteria so this is the the multiple criteria the criteria is financial return strategic alignment risk and environmental impact and you recall we also say that uh, uh, utility analysis is particularly useful when the outcomes or the benefits of the options are difficult to quantify in purely monetary terms so it's not easy sometimes to quantify environmental impact in monetary terms. It's not easy to quantify risk, strategic alignment, and even NPV in monetary terms. So step number one, we say it, you do what? You identify the decision criteria, then you assign weight. But again, you, down there we have the weights and scores. Can you see weights and scores? The decision makers assign the following weights to each criteria. So NPV is assigned 0 0.4. Strategic alignment is assigned 0 0.3. Risk is assigned 0 0.2. Environmental impact is assigned 0 0.1. When you take the total of those um, weights, you get 1. It's 40%, 30%, 20%, 10% is equal to 100%. So those are the weights and that is which step that is step number two step number one the company identified the decision criteria which is npv strategic alignment risk and environmental impact then in step number two the company has assigned ways to the criteria so npv 0 0.4 strategic alignment 0 0.3 risk 0 0.2 environmental impact 0 0.1 then step number three, we say that the, the in utility analysis, one has to develop a rating scale. So below the weights, we have the rating scale. Rating scale, you recall, we say that uh, that uh, that uh, uh, that involves creating a scale to measure how well each option performs on each criteria, and we say that the common scales include one to five, one to ten. So you can see there we have the scale. They have the, the company has the company evaluates each project on each criteria and assigns a score on a scale of one to five. That is the scale, and that is step 
number three. The company has developed a rating scale of one to five and then assigned. All right. There is below the, 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 the company has assigned one to five. You can see the, the criteria and the weights and the, the projects have been assigned the scores. NPV project A4, project B3, project C2, strategic alignment project A3, project B5, project C4. That should be within the range of one to five. Risk has been assigned project A3, project B4, project C2. Environmental impact has been assigned the score of four, project B3, project C5. So that is step number four, rating each option. Each option is rated in step number four. Then step number five is to calculate the overall utility. Felicia, do you see that? Calculating overall utility. You can see overall utility. How do you calculate the overall utility? How do you calculate the overall utility? We say that you calculate the overall utility by multiplying, by multiplying, by multiplying each options rating on each criteria by multiplying. You multiply each options rating on each criteria by the corresponding criteria weight, by the corresponding criteria weight by the corresponding criteria weight and then you sum them the products to obtain the overall utility score for each option such that the project utility the project a utility will be the weight of 0 0.4 you see weight for 0 0.4 project 0 0.4 the weight for npv is 0 0.4 okay npv has a weight of 0 0.4 so that 0 0.4 you multiply by the score of npv for project a so we have 0 0.4 times 4 we add the weight of strategic alignment of 0 0.3 times strategic alignment score of project a of 3 then we add the weight for risk then multiply by the score for risk for project A, which is 3. Then environmental impact weight is 0 0.1. Multiply by the corresponding, uh, the corresponding uh, score for project A, which is, zero, which is 4. Then you get the total, which is equal to 3.3. So the project utility, project A utility is 0 0.4 times 4 plus 0 0.3 times 3 plus 0 0.2 times 2 plus 0 0.1 times 4, which gives us 3.3. Project utility, project B utility, again, you take the weight for NPV, multiply by the corresponding NPV score, add the weight for strategic alignment, multiply by the corresponding score for strategic alignment for project B, you do the same. So we'll have 0 0.4 times 3 plus 0 0.3 times 5 plus 0 0.2 times 4 plus 0 0.1 times 3 which is equal to 3.4 the same applies to project c utility project c utility we have 0 0.4 times 2 plus 0 0.3 times 4 plus 0 0.2 times 2 plus 0 0.1 times 5 is equal to 2.5 is that clear up to that point that is step number five calculate overall utility so we've done the calculations. We've calculated the overall utility for each option. So you will recall project A. What was project A? Project A has a name. Project B has a name. Project C has a name. Take me to the question. Project A is which project? Project A is the modernization of existing machinery. We are just using A, but we would have substituted with modernization of existing machinery. What we are calling project B is expansion into new product line. Project C is investment in research and development. So the three 
have been as uh, we've calculated the utilities for the utility the overall utility for each project so take me to the calculations again go to the calculations modernization expansion investment so we have project a modernization project b investment do you see that so those are the calculations those are the calculated overall utilities for each project so are we on the same page up to that point Pelita says yes yes so we are done up to this point done up to this point we've calculated the overall utility for each project now compare can we compare comparison comparing compare the overall utility scores of the options and select the option with the highest score which option has the highest score which one project b expansion into new product line it has the highest score that is true so we select we've compared then you have selected the one with the highest score so what is the interpretation interpretation interpret interpretation what is the interpretation interpretation how do you interpret how do you interpret how do you interpret what is the interpretation what is the interpretation and what is the decision what is the interpretation and the decision? Because you have to interpret and then decide. So based on the utility analysis, this is the conclusion. Based on the utility analysis, project B has the highest overall utility score of 3.4. And candidates, you, you may have made an observation. So let me put it down. I've said that based on the utility analysis, based I was explaining something. What Felista has told us that based on the utility analysis based on what based on the utility analysis project b has the highest overall utility score project b has the highest overall utility score it has the highest overall utility score. But candidates, I want you to check the NPV. Look at the NPVs, the NPVs. Which one has the highest NPV? Let's have a look at the question again. We are doing the interpretation. We are interpreting. Based on the utility analysis, Project B has the highest overall utility score of 3.4 but candidates look at the table look at the table candidates project a you can see has npv project a has npv of 4 project b has npv of 3 you can see candidates Based on utility analysis, Project B has the highest utility score of 3.4, even though it may not have the highest NPV. It does not have the highest NPV. Do you observe that? The project that has the highest NPV is Project A. It has been assigned the highest NPV. Project A has the highest, uh, uh, 
project A has the highest MPV. So project B, though it has the highest utility score, is not, it does not have the highest LPV. Okay, so based on utility analysis, project B has the highest overall utility score of 3.4. And though, even though the project does not have the highest NPV, even though it may not have the highest NPV. It does not have the highest NPV. That is something you need to observe. And what does that suggest? What does that suggest? Project B, according to the utility analysis, has the highest score and based on utility analysis, the best project to select is project B, even though it has the highest, it, it may not have the highest NPV, it does not have the highest NPV. So what does that suggest? That suggests to you candidates that even though project B does not have the highest NPV, even though it may not have the highest NPV, Project B offers the best combination of the criteria. Project B offers the best combination of, what was it? Environmental impact, okay? Let me put it down. Project B, that suggests, that suggests that, that project B, that project B offers the best combination. Project B offers the best combination of the four criteria, okay? The best combination of I think it was financial return measured by NPV. I think we also had strategic fit, with strategic fit. There was environmental impact. Is it environmental impact? Yes, environmental impact. And what is risk profile? Risk profile and environmental impact and environmental impact making it the most favorable investment option for the company so sometimes that's why we say candidates when making capital budgeting decisions you the company may sometimes need to consider other factors so utility analysis combines the financial and non-financial, financial and mostly non-financial, or, or we say that uh, utility analysis is particularly useful when outcomes or benefits of the options are difficult to do what, to quantify. So if a company is to use a combination of financial return, strategic fit, risk profile and environmental impact based on utility analysis then the best project to undertake is project b and which is this project what is the project take me to the question what is the project the project b project b look at it again project b is expansion into a new product line now if there is no question bye bye